Hi guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be looking at a fragrance from House of Lanvin. And I'm not quite sure how they pronounce this house because I heard people say Lanvin or Lanvin. So I'm going to call it Lanvin or Lanvin, whatever is the correct way probably. So the fragrance we're going to look at today is a discontinued fragrance and it's a very beautiful fragrance. Uh, the reason being, this, this is a very fresh sort of, a, uh, not really from the recent times, it's from the past. It almost has like 20 years-ish. I think it was released in somewhere 2009 yeah so so 10 years like 10 years ago it was released so this is a flanker from uh, one fragrance from same house um, so this fragrance I've been trying it for some time in study enterprise I recently picked it up so the fragrance is gonna be long vein long sport so this fragrance it's very hard to find nowadays as far as I heard in Bangladesh you can find in study enterprise so the first reason uh, why I'm doing this because this house I do not have so many reviews of I look back and I did only one Eclat de Arpege, that fragrance, and I wanted to do uh, Avant Garde, but I couldn't find that fragrance. If I find it, I'll review it. So let's look at this fragrance, what's so special about it, and why I liked it, and uh, who is it for, presentation, stuff like that, very quickly. Here is the beautiful blue, sort of like Pakuraban Ultraviolet, that color, box color, kind of like violet, or purplish, the name, everything. EDT 100ml bottle that I have here. This also comes in 50 or 30ml as well, and uh, it's made in where France okay so bottom like this up there you're gonna have some information the fragrance has been reviewed by many reviewers but I'm not gonna say by every single review reviewed it okay so it's a simplistic sort of bottle I wore uh, quite a bit of it and it's a very simplistic sort of like almost looks like Nivea right Nivea uh, they have a new fragrance release they have the same color combination blue and white back it looks like that as you can see juice moving so it's like uh, kind of like a frosted blue glass and bottom it's very simplistic actually but this one it reminds me of Ho uh, David of Horizon they have sort of like a uh, what it called a stopper like uh, that fragrance okay and it comes with a cap I really like it it kind of stops here um, it, it, it kind of stops here okay and then you know I don't know what actually is the reason but it looks nice here is the atomizer cap is very very light plastic and chromish touch to it so this fragrance has beautiful spread to it you know it really shoots out a lot of juice i really like that about this fragrance okay absolutely beast mode sprayer so this fragrance i would classify this as a fresh sort of like herbaceous not really herbaceous it's kind of like a almost barber shoppy sort of a lemony fresh citrus fragrance okay that's what this is gonna be classified as so this fragrance has some age to it as you can understand it was released some time ago and it got discontinued the original uh, Lanvin Loam, I also tried that. That is a little bit different one. This is an ideal fragrance for gym, fresh, after sports. Let's say you just done swimming, you know, water activities. You know, you're going to go sailing. You're going to spend some time on the beach, you know, by the beach playing some volleyball. Uh, looking for something to wear in the office setup, you know. This is a perfect ideal fragrance to wear in high heat, okay. This is opening, the opening wise, this is a lot of lemon up top. And it almost smells like at the same time there's some sage at the background you know you can smell that uh, herbal quality at the background it's kind of like some people say medicinal i don't find anything medicinal in it medicinal in it but i really love that uplifting lemon it reminds me sort of like not the same but kind of like a similar it has a rosemary this one is a rosemary sort of a vetiver and lemony kick so this one it's a little bit different but does remind me of that one so how many sprays to go with it? I would say this one has reasonably good performance, but it's not a screamer or a very beast mode fragrance. It does last longer than Versace, Manu Fresh or Purum. I would say go like three to four sprays. If you really want to make it last the whole day, it's not going to last the whole day. I am getting like somewhere between four to five hours pushing with the first hour of excellent uh, projection. Okay, so I would say four to five sprays is great. You can go six, no problem. Okay, so right away, you know, like uh, it's fresh. It's clean lemon bergamot sort of combo and sage and lavender. Lavender is not powdery, but it gives you that floral sort of feel. Not very fougia like, but transparent sort of uh, floral, if I can make sense, you know. So it doesn't really go like Lamal sort of powdery vibe if you're scared of that. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do like Dreamer. It doesn't do, uh, what's the other one? Um, Prada Luna Rosa Spore. It doesn't tilt that way but the fragrance actually stays pretty fresh and it goes a little bit musky on the dry down mask and i believe they have uh, notes like uh what's the other one oak moss or something wait let me check this one 
There's one node, I think it's not vetiver. It's yeah, oak moss is there and then petit grain and some uh, peppery cake. So this fragrance, it, it, it comes out as really fresh, peppery, masculine, sort of fresh, youthful vibe, okay? I'll picture a man, he's in his 30s, 20 to 30s. And this guy's single, this guy is single and he's very active he's very active he he's clean man he's like very neat he takes his shower he has nice haircut and he does maintain a good uh, healthy lifestyle he's into sport he plays squash and stuff so this fragrance is pretty much for them it's very casual easy to wear laid back you know fridays would say weekend in your saturday and sundays those are your laid back weekends great fragrance to wear in like gym uh, cinemas if you're going to spend some time with your friends shooting pool or something like that you know, so this is a very nice sporty fragrance with a nice little twist. You know, it's almost uh, reminds you, brings back like 10 years of memory that you just relieve something like that. So to remind you of those times, how things smell back then in 2009. And I believe it's like 2009, yeah, 2009. Um, yeah, 10 years back, how things were a little bit more simpler, not as advanced. Uh, so that's the kind of time it will bring you back. So overall performance and it's not very expensive as at, as well. I bought it for I think 35 like if you convert it it's kind of like below $40 for a big bottle. So very good pricing for this. And for this continued fragrance I'm very happy I got this. Overseas you can find TJ Maxx Ross if you look for a deal you can get a 50 ml for 18 bucks or something like that. I saw one review. So I think it's considered as a cheapy overseas. So it's a very inexpensive fragrance I would say so. And uh, it's definitely a try, definitely a try, not a must buy if you smell this. Uh, you really like the smell of it, you know, if you're looking for uh, something different than usual, sport, sporty flankers that is kind of boring, this is not boring. This is uh, good, uplifting, energetic, uh, youthful, fresh, lemony fragrance, okay? So that's Lanvin Lom Sport. Overall, this fragrance, I'm going to give it, for what it is, I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. For the quality, longevity is good for a fresh fragrance, nice little bottle price tag is very reasonable and you can use it very like, almost everywhere very versatile in that way just that you can't wear this in the winter time it's not going to have the potency right so that's long and long sport for you definitely check it out if you find this bottle somewhere give it a try you know you may it may work with you right there you go that's the review for tonight i will see you tomorrow have a very nice day i have a few nice fragrance reviews coming up because i received a few bottles i'll see you soon bye bye